Hello and welcome to HISD News. I'm Colleen Allen. The second annual HISD and City of Houston Back to School Fest is coming up on August 11th. HISD staff and volunteers from across the city are working around the clock to make the upcoming event a huge success. Sarah Osborne has more. Despite the heat, several dozen HISD students returned for a second year to do their part for the Back to School Fest. They saw their, the fruit of their labor at the, uh, at the, at the fest, so uh, they want to do it again. This feels good. Elementary is on this side, secondary is on that side. An assembly line of Sam Houston High School soccer players, sorted supplies, and stuffed backpacks. Joining them were volunteers from the Boy Scouts of America. Not only are we having fun, we're meeting uh, new acquaintances, new uh, workers, and uh, we're uniting as one. HISD teachers also stepped in to assist, including Carol Peterson, who moved to Houston only a year ago. Houston's a big district and there's a lot of kids that are in need. I taught at a Title I school from January to May and I saw how much need there is. In addition to those packing up supplies, hundreds of other volunteers have signed up to work the event. I love to see the smiles on everyone's faces. It makes me happy. I just think that it is a great cause, that there is a huge need out there. Volunteers were trained at special sessions held this week at Hattie Mae White. In addition to receiving a t-shirt, they also received their job assignments. And so we have several zone areas. We have the parent zone, HISD zone, city of Houston, the school supply backpack zone. So they will know exactly where they'll be working. Last year's festival served over 25,000 students and this year promises to be even bigger. So mark your calendars. The second annual HISD city of Houston back to school fest will be held on Saturday, August 11th from 8 a.m. to noon at Reliance Center. Speaking of volunteers, HISD is looking for help to get some of our students back on track to graduate. Every year in September, the district canvasses local neighborhoods looking for students who have not yet returned to school. It's called Grads Within Reach, and this year marks the ninth year of the program. HISD employees, parents, local leaders, and community members are encouraged to volunteer for the annual event, which takes place on Saturday, September 8th at high schools across the district. They will go door to door to visit students that either dropped out in previous years or did not show up from uh, their high, to their high schools from uh, students that were enrolled last year. To participate, volunteers must be 18 years of age and attend an upcoming training session. If you're interested, please email gwr at houstonisd.org or call 713-556-7017. HISD board members continue to review a bond proposal that would rebuild some of the district's most aging high schools. At a board workshop on August 2nd, trustees discussed several components of the $1.89 billion plan that would rebuild or renovate schools across the district. The proposed bond package focuses heavily on the city's high schools, most of which were built an average of 50 years ago. Trustees are expected to vote on the proposal at their board meeting on August 9th. If approved, it would appear on the November ballot. One of the campuses included in the 2012 bond proposal is Davis High School. Recently, HISD TV's Denise Cantu visited the school to find out what's on their improvement list. This is a picture of the original building from 1926. Davis High School in Northeast Houston is one of HISD's oldest campuses. For Principal Jaime Castaneda, it's also his alma mater. He graduated in 1975 and says he's proud of the school's history, but sad to see its deterioration. It really hurts because I think we need to provide the students with the best that we can. This campus, built more than 80 years ago, cannot support the technology students need today in the classroom to complement their learning experience, says Castaneda. Technology such as smart boards and wireless internet. We basically just need to upgrade the whole building to meet the needs of, the, of uh, education. And that means a building that is updated, safe and comfortable, says Castaneda. Unlike the current campus where deterioration can be seen all throughout the building. Some of the old furniture that was built into the building is still there. Even though it's painted, it still doesn't look very good. 
Furthermore, Castañeda says it's important to have classrooms suitable for the growing enrollment at Davis High School. It really doesn't meet the needs of the teachers as far as storing their material. Most of them are too small um, and they basically are antiquated. All in all, Castañeda says he just wants a building equipped to provide his current students and future generations the best learning environment. Providing them a safe building uh, where it's clean, where it's adequate for them to receive their education, to me that's the, that's, that's the basic. The start of the school year is less than one month away, and members of the HIC Warehouse Department have been busy making sure all 279 HISD schools have everything they need. HISD Warehouse Operations Manager Timothy Brown walks us through the process. We have uh, over 32 employees here in the warehouse. Uh, their job ranges from ticket expediters to customer service personnel, uh, as well as truck drivers. We have requisitions come in on a daily basis, and our customer service personnel processes those orders for uh, them to come out, out on the floor. And what you kind of see here today is uh, the expediting of orders where we place, where we actually fill the tickets and we put materials on the floor. Those materials range from chemical supplies to uh, different custodial supplies as well as our instructional materials, uh, also known as textbooks, that go out to the various schools. Uh, also what we're doing is we're making sure that we get out, we want to be on, on top of schedule and we've come up with a new route system. Uh, those, that, that new route system uh, is, was being implemented uh, the first of the summer. We've had an opportunity to pilot it uh, and try to work out some of the kinks as well and it's, it's going very successful. Things can get pretty hectic out here. The items that we pull can be very heavy. Safety is a, is a must here. Safety is a big concern for us uh, and that we want to make sure that our workers are taken care of uh, and that, you know, uh, we're keeping a healthy environment, you know, a strong environment to be able to, to efficiently service the district. Time now for the HISD Fast Fact of the Week, and it relates to the hardworking members of the HISD warehouse team. Every year, over 31,000 cases of paper hand towels are distributed to schools throughout the district. This equals to over 133,000 feet, which when put end to end would be over 25 miles. Now I would hate to have to roll that back up. That's it for this edition of HISD News. Please be sure to keep up with the latest news happenings at HISD by following us on Twitter, YouTube, and Facebook. Until next time, I'm Colleen Allen.